everybody. Thank you so much for joining me for this video. This is going to be a review of a new hair styling device that I am really, really liking lately, and it is from Remington, and it is called the T-Studio Pearl Ceramic Professional Styling Wand. Had to refer to the website to make sure I got that whole name out there, but um, this is a really cool uh, styling tool, and it's different from anything I've tried before. Why? Because it is a curling iron, but it has no... Um, little clamp, you know, on it. So you're basically just wrapping your hair around this and I was kind of feeling like, oh, I'm probably not going to get near the results I get with a normal curling iron. Well, that is not the case. I really, really love the kind of curl this gives. And basically, I'm kind of, I've got it open here on the website so I can tell you the basics of the features. Um, it is a one inch to a half inch styling wand. So basically, you're one inch here at your widest point, and then it's going down to half inch, which is a pretty small uh, curling iron when you get down here to the bottom. And I find sometimes the one difficulty I have with this is sometimes, depending on how I hold it, you know, comfort wise, sometimes I'll be at a certain angle and all my hair will want to come down toward this end and get a really small curl. But that's okay. Um, I feel like when you're getting down toward this half of the styling, wand as it's called um, I feel like you get those those curls that kind of remind you a little bit of like Taylor Swift curls because they're definitely a little bit tighter than your average you know big voluminous uh, you know hot roller type curls um, so there are a few different factors when you're using this that I think impact what kind of results you get. Um, number one would be how much hair you put around the, the uh, styling wand at, at the time. I could grab out some hair here to show you and if I put a big bunch around it, if I grab this whole hunk of hair <laughs> right down here, um, I don't have it plugged in right now, that's why I'm just kind of messing around, but you know, you just wrap it around like that, and this actually comes with a glove, so you, if you don't like holding your fingers too close to this, you could use the glove. I didn't like the glove, really, so I just use my hand and try to keep it from getting too close, but um, anyway, as I was saying, number one, you know, if you put a lot of hair around this, you're not going to get as tight of a curl. If you, um, you don't have to hold the hair on it that long, but the longer you do keep it on there, the, once again, the tighter curl you're going to get and also um, you know there are different heat settings as well on this basically it's got a little digital readout so if this is plugged in it's got a digital readout there and it's got an up or a down button to make it hotter or cooler and then it's got a power button there as well. Um, this also does have, in terms of features, just want to let you know, um, it's a 410 degree heat. That's the, the highest it gets. has the automatic shutoff. Um, it does come with that glove and a four-year warranty. So um, I got this for about 25 bucks at Target. And like I said, I got it thinking this is not going to give me the long-lasting curl that I get with a regular curling iron. Well, really, you know, my curls don't last all that long with a curling iron. Being out in the wind like I was today, if I had done my hair with a regular curling iron, I mean, it would be gone by now, the curl would. But this kind of hair, like, I mean, if you want to go an extra day, your hair will hold this. It's amazing. Um, you know, I have fine hair that doesn't necessarily take to a curl that easily, but I was really surprised at how after, you know, a day, you know, you can even sleep on this and it's like, oh my gosh, I still have a nice amount of curl here. I realize I shouldn't, shouldn't have probably worn a black shirt for this to just lay over here, but um, it, it is nice. The one thing to just keep in mind is that this a half inch, the smallest part of this, is a very tight curl. So be aware that the curl can be small. But what's neat about this, and the, what I like for my layered hair, I mean, as you can see here, if I pull it out here, I've got some short layers up in there. Um, but what I like is that if I'm using it this way, and I'm twisting my hair around it, I'm getting more of just a natural wave up towards the top, and I'm getting more of the curl down toward the bottom. And so I love that for my style, because then I don't have, you know, big, big curly hair up here, but it's more smooth, and then it gradually goes down into this slightly more curly look. So um, I've gotten questions about this when I've worn my hair this way in different videos that I've done lately.
it's not too expensive. I know there are other products like this. I'm not sure if you know of other brands that you really like. I mean, maybe share in the comments section. This is the only one like this that I've tried. It is light pink, by the way. I don't know if that's coming through on camera, but that's kind of cute as well. So thanks a lot for taking the time to watch this review. I mean, you could definitely rock this look with your hair down or putting it up. I mean, this would make an adorable ponytail or some kind of updo where you just want to give your hair more texture. This is definitely great for that. Uh, for setting the style, however, something I'll do is just, you know, go all over it with this and then just give a little spritz of hairspray all around and then maybe tease it up in the roots just a little bit to create more body up in here as well because you've got a lot going on down here. It kind of balances it out a little bit. Just how I like to do it. You don't have to do it that way, but thanks a lot again for watching and have a wonderful day.